hey everyone and welcome to welcome back to my channel so for today's video if you guys saw from the thumbnail and the title we are doing a soap and glory shower routine now this product in itself is not part of soap and glory but i really like this dove pre-cleanse because lately my skin once again has been super dry especially around my neck area so before i go ahead and apply any other products to cleanse and moisturize and make my body smell super good I'm going to go ahead and use the Dove Pre-Cleanse just because it's going to bring me that extra moisture that my skin is so desperately in need of. But let's go ahead and rinse this off. This Dove Pre-Cleanse, you guys, I'm telling you, if you have dry skin, it is just absolutely amazing. It just really gets the job done. But now that that's all done with, I can finally go in and cleanse my body. This is the Smart Foam. This is a moldable, shapeable shower mousse from soap and glory and it is in their the original pink scent so i went ahead and shook it up and i opened the cap i recommend opening the cap outside the shower because that was a struggle literally then i'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl see what it's giving i really love this foam you guys it was so much fun and shapeable like it said you guys will see in just a moment it was just so fun to play with and i absolutely love mousses and like foam washes i just think they're really fun to use but this stuff didn't linger on my skin for a very long time, but I did like the consistency. I just thought, once again, that it was just a really fun product to try out. Um, would I repurchase it again? I would, just for fun. Now, like I was saying, the scent itself does not linger on the skin. But I feel like because it's like a mousse, it just hydrates my body really well, if that makes any sense. It could just be all in my head. I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest. But then I'm going to go ahead and apply some more because that little bit... The thing about foam washes is that a little does not go a long way. Like you have to use a lot of foam to like really cleanse your body to get your arms, your legs, everywhere. But this can be showing y'all like it's kind of moldable. Like it has like that. It has like this kind of like weird thick feeling to it. But it feels really good on the skin. Like I said, it's really moisturizing. But a little does not go a long way. So you will use a lot of this product. And now I'm going to go ahead and rinse most of this off. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with a, another Soap and Glory mousse that I have. And man oh man, I'm so disappointed. But first I'm going to go ahead and shave. This is the Flamingo Razor. It's that time of the month again where I need to shave. I really need to go back to waxing because I feel like I just shaved my armpits in the last video. But I'm going to take the EOS um, Vanilla Bliss one just because, like I was saying you guys, I'm trying to get in the habit of using shave creams and seeing what's the tea about them because everyone always buys it. And I used to be one of those people, and I still kind of am, that's like doesn't really feel like shave cream is necessary, especially when you can just shave with your body wash because that creates lather and moisture. That way, like, you're not, like, dry shaving. But once again, you know, I keep using it. It's okay. Then here is the cooling mousse. I think, what is it? It says the crackling moisture mousse. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shake and here's what the product looks like. Now, first impressions before I tell y'all what actually happened in this video. Um, I was just really interested in buying it and literally, like I was telling you guys, please open it outside the shower because that flew somewhere, I have no idea. This consistency is so weird. It is so very weird. But like I was saying, first impressions, I really wanted to buy it because I was like, what do you mean it's crackling? Like. What is that supposed to mean but it has an extremely weird texture and right here you guys i had already applied it and you're gonna see if you just watch my movements in this clip like i keep on like kind of jerking because i applied the product to my skin you guys and it started to burn then when i try to wash it off it burned even more so do i recommend this product absolutely not it made my skin burn it just was awful yeah like i was saying you guys i do not recommend this it literally burned my skin so bad but let's get into this haul hey everyone okay so i was gonna like do what i normally do and just like show you guys one specific scent that i use to like moisturize my body but when it comes to soap and glory i literally have so many moisturizers so i think instead what i'm gonna do is share with you guys my entire collection of moisturizers from soap and glory and then i'm also gonna share with you guys which one I specifically use for today's video but this one is a newer one I didn't use this one in today's video but it has like a fig type of scent to it I don't know if you guys have ever smelled fig before but after like smelling this product I know for a fact what a fig smells like 
it is a very different type of scent like it's not super citrusy it's not super floral it's not super like i don't know how to explain it like it just has a scent to it it's definitely something extremely different than what i'm used to and what i normally pick out but when it comes to soap and glory and marshall's if they have it i just pick it up i just buy it i don't even smell it in the store because i personally really love soap and glory so much that i'm just like whatever it is i'll love it but this one i don't love it but i'm not mad about it i just feel like you have to kind of match it right to make it smell good yeah this one has a really different type of scent to it but if you're someone who's into that i highly recommend it or if you like that like fig type of scent then this is probably for you i love the packaging of this one i think that the packaging actually kind of matches up fairly well for the fig type of scent but it's so cute that's one of the other things that makes me really love soap and glory it's just like their packaging is so pretty and then this one is one of my og favorites i got this from marshall's so long ago and i haven't really used it because i cannot find it anywhere else but this is the og my favorite scent this was 4.99 the original price was ten dollars this is the mist you madly floral and seductive the daily smooth indulgent body butter this stuff smells so sexy so like romantic definitely gives like those date night vibes and i am obsessed with this scent Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm pretty sure like the main ingredient in this. Sorry, y'all, my hair clip is about to fall out. But I think the main ingredient in this that makes me really love it is if I'm not mistaken, it's bergamot. It doesn't really say, but I want to say it's bergamot. Whatever is in this, you guys, I highly recommend this to everyone if you need like a date night or like a staple piece like this would probably be my staple piece if i had to pick one out of my entire collection it'd probably be the soap and glory um miss you madly scent i am obsessed with this one highly recommend this one now i used to always use this one so i also didn't use it for today's video i went for a scent that i haven't used yet which i'm going to show you guys last and then this is the matching um it's the same thing as this one the only difference is this one is a lotion this one's a body butter and the containers are different and like the formulas and everything being that this one's a body butter and this one is a lotion but they are literally the same exact scent so once again love the scent you guys can probably tell at this point i literally have two of them in the same scent just different formulas i'm obsessed with them i will say this is probably my favorite like body lotion i've ever used and the reason being is that whenever you apply this it's super lightweight but it has like a really nice oil type of finish to it i think there's like some type of like oil combination in it because whenever i use this it makes my skin so glowy like it has some type of oil in it and it's really lightweight which is perfect for the summertime because you don't want to be sweating off your product and be sticky and everything like that but i really love this one um i think i've used quite a bit of it it's like right here and this was when like i first got it i used like literally like to here and i haven't been using it since because once again i cannot find this anywhere it's probably a target and things but i don't want to pay full price for it especially when i got both of these on sale so the body butter was 4.99 and the lotion is 6.99 and they both retail for about the same this is a dollar more regular price 11 dollars. this one was 10 dollars regular price and then i also have the the righteous body butter um, this is also in the original pink scent. This one has the rose and bergamot. So I think if I had to pick a staple piece, it would be between the original pink like line or either the Miss you Madly one. Those two are so good. This smells so perfumey. Like I love smelling the Soap and Glory products. Like these two, those two are the best scents I feel like I've ever smelled before in terms of like perfumey date night staple pieces i love them they smell super strong and they linger on the skin but once again i'm obsessed with the original pink as well they do have these in like the gift sets that's how i got my hands on this one um it came with a hand cream a foot cream a body i don't think it came with a body scrub i think it came with a body butter it came with a body wash i think i want to say a scrub but i also don't think i've ever had this in the scrub but once again this is one of those other staple pieces that i just love so much can't find this one on sale anymore but i also got this for christmas like two christmases ago and i haven't used too much of it because i love this stuff so much i never want to get rid of it this is like one of those body butters or hygiene products that you use every now and then i don't know what just happened to my camera but between these two 
since I just use these on occasion like I'll use these for my graduation my birthday things like that like those staple moments in my life I will probably more than likely have on soap and glory and then for today's video I use because it's like springtime going into summer this stuff I love it now I mean I never hated it but I used to just like it but now I love it this is the sugar crush moisture extreme re-energizing body buttercream got this from marshall's you guys this was 5.99 the original price is nine dollars super hydrating the scent of this is what really gets me though it is let me see it's called sugar crush as well and it's supposed to be a let me see a like citrusy type of scent i think it's lime if i'm not mistaken yes it says freshly squeezed sweet lime fragrance you like limes this is for you you guys this is the perfect like summer scent spring scent it is so re-energizing just smelling it like wakes you up i'm not even kidding it just has like that really nice lime scent to it even just doing this like i can smell it and i'll be honest unlike the other soap and glory products i've talked about today just having it like this and like rubbing it or like moving it around my face at this distance i couldn't really smell it but this one's so strong you guys and it just smells so good it reminds me of like ice cream like sherbet like i don't know it just smells so good it reminds me of lemon lemonade it reminds me of just summertime i am obsessed with this one so for today's video i did use this now this is not necessary but i just also been trying to get more into body um oils so i paired it with this one i'm not going to try to say it again because i already forgot how to say this one i think it's called actually i'm gonna try it amaranth i think i actually said that right amaranth um multi-use oil and the reason why i use it is because this one has grapefruit oil in it and it like has like um that kind of like fruity vibe that i was going for and this combination this combination is going to be my go-to summer scent i currently have one now and i've just like kind of been trying to get rid of it but this one is definitely next like 100 percent. i cannot wait to use this every single day of summer and spring this just is so bright and like I can still smell it on my skin it just smells so good it lingers on the skin i am obsessed with these two combinations but that's all i have for like the lotions and then i also bought two um little like fragrance mist this one is the soap and glory misty madly and it was 3.99 the original price was five dollars my friend tried this and she kept talking about how much she loved it you guys i'm telling you this scent is just literally the bomb.com it's a staple it's a staple fragrance it is just so good i love this stuff so much i've already used like to about here and i haven't been trying to use this one once again because this was a tj maxx find didn't get any more haven't seen any more but whenever i find them i'm definitely going to be using it more often this one was also from tj maxx this was 3.99 the original price is eight dollars this is the spritz in the city instant cooling body spray and it is in the original pink scent but the fruity and floral one i'm gonna spray this one because i don't don't mind if i do that one smells really good too it's more on the lighter side whereas this one is not this one definitely smells more fruity than this one but together it smells really good i really love soap and glory you guys <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this little soap and glory shower routine. And if you did, please stay tuned for more shower routines. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video.